Hello, I found those cups in my stash and I had an idea idea how to alter them and embellish them a little bit so because this is a water bottle because when you make them wet you can make them flat a hmm? little bit of water and then you can flatten them very easily. Okay. And when you let them dry, take them aside, put them there, over there. When you let them dry, you have these. And they are very crinkly and you can make and, and these are the smaller ones I tea dyed them oh it's a little bit wet just a second I have to take a little towel so okay yeah those are the tea dyed and you can make something like this. You can stamp on them, like so, like so. And this is embossed and inked, as well as those. And a little flower. This is the smaller one. And I did some paint on on this, but it's too dark, and so I decided not to paint on them with blue. It was some um, yes regular um, paint, and I decided to embellish them a little bit and make these and this is this is not embossed but stenciled and I stitched by machine some tiny bits and pieces on them this is a male one and you can see they are stitched and this smaller one a little bit of a trim and a little bit of lace, post stamp, and some flowers, another one. And when they are stitched, cut them apart. Mm. Flower post stamp. So, it's an idea to emboss them and to make wonderful circles. Okay, so I hope you see those. So, the first step to get those embellishments is to take this dry piece of paper, then decide if you want to stencil, for example, a bird. And I have vintage photo and I have a brush. My stuff is from AliExpress and dip it into the ink and then this goes fast. And I think it's cute. There is the stencil. So, just clean it up. Oh, this is one first step. And the other one is, let's make two of them. 
is to stamp. So let's have a look. Maybe a butterfly. So the color. Oh yes, take vintage photo. This is okay. Here you are. The little butterfly. Let's clean it up. And put it back. We could take those tiny flower stem, this one, maybe with black ink, this one. Here we go. And the next step is to emboss them. I will take this one and face up, close it, and then get the machine, run it through. Here is the bird. I think it's cute. And of course, but let's make the other two ones. So, this is it. Now you can ink them on the edge, on, on the edge of the circle, like this or like this. Hmm? Or you could, you could go over the whole circle with the ink, but I'll take this and my, where is my ink gun? Hmm. Now it's the blue one. This only, where is my, uh, behind the water bottle. So, let's make was a little bit distressed on the edge. Mm -hmm. First one, second. And the butterfly. A little bit, I don't know if you can see this. I hope so. So, and we don't want to waste this excess. No. Take your wet ones and you can take the ink. So and let them dry and this can be washed away 
so okay now it depends on how you want to use them I took a piece of music paper very old and brown a piece of this and inked the edge This would be a little, a little bit too big. So rip it, make it smaller. Yes, now it fits. And the second one. Butterfly, and I took a piece of old French newspaper as you can see here and ink them up. Those are cute, the small ones. And now we could take a tiny bit of lace. So, and maybe some flowers, tiny flowers, what you have in your stash, and a post stamp. Let's see what we have. Why not? Green. Oh, this is huge. No. But maybe. No. Yeah. This one. It's a landscape from Austria. Yes. This can go with this. And something like this and maybe a woman's face let's search for hmm ah Malta yes but it's so huge no Okay, Greece, those are tiny and red. Okay, let's take those. Now, I don't want to stitch it, but you have a similar result when you take the stapler and staple it. Oops. 
once again doesn't work no it's empty so let me take the bigger one So, and now, ah, ready. So, this is a very fast and simple way. To make tiny embellishments for journals. The flower, a little bit. Hmm, maybe this way, yes, like so, so, this was my little idea I wanted to share, and if you have, this is a male one, if you have any questions, don't hesitate to ask. <laughs> Thank you for watching and have a nice day. Bye bye.